morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are officially at the end of the first week quarantine. So here is what we've got for today. I've got a couple different things for you. Um, and then remember, next week is spring break, so you don't have to check in. I'm going to give you kind of an idea of what I want you to have done for the 30th, which is not Monday, but a week from Monday the 30th. So you got like 10 days off here. And then uh, we'll we'll just keep running from there based on guidance at that point. Um, so for today, I asked you to have chapter 26.1 and through chapter 26.3 completed in your study guide that I passed out to you before we left. Um, as you see here, I kind of got stuff now. We're going to go from today, the 20th, all the way out to the 31st. So by the 31st, Tuesday the 31st, you need to have your chapter 26 study guide done. You need to have it photographed and uploaded to Schoology, and you need to have completed the formative quiz. So if you get it done before before then, you are you're kind of at your own pace here. Um, so that stuff will be due Tuesday, March 31st. So today we're basically going to focus on chapter 26.1 through chapter 26.3, which is referred to as the age of anxiety. Uh, whether it is in thought, whether it is philosophy, whether it is literature, uh, whether it is art, what we see is this anxiety post-World War I, where we see recovery trying to happen, uh, but there still is not the ability for Europe as a whole, and even within the United States, for people to get past the atrocities that were done in World War I. We see this in uh, Nietzsche's philosophy and uh, this idea that there is no God and God is no longer here in this kind of really negative, dark time period. We also see it in artwork as we see a movement back towards kind of the classics and the human form and earth and fire and water and air. All of these things really kind of show this unsettling nature that we have in the 1920s prior to the Great Depression. So um, a couple things that I have. First off for you today, I want you to do a practice quiz for me on Schoology. We're going to keep practicing. We've got a stimulus question there for you. Remember, it's ungraded but it's good practice for you. So go through it, see how you do, and I've got some feedback for you if you get the answers correct or incorrect to explain for you why. The other thing that I have for you, I feel like this is a pretty um, relevant thing for us right now. Um, title of the article here from the Washington Post was that, uh, if I get my, my ad pop-ups here, during a pandemic, Isaac Newton had to work from home too. He used the time wisely. Uh, it's just a real short article that came out here a couple days ago that looks at in 1665, Isaac Newton um, and Britain was dealing with the plague. And as a result, they had to social distance as well. So he had to basically retreat to his family estate about 60 miles northwest of Cambridge. Um, and out his window, as he was working from home, his office window at his at his estate was uh, the famed apple tree. So just a real quick short little article to to kind of encourage you that uh, Isaac Newton made some of his most well-known and famous discoveries while working from home on quarantine. So we're going to try and be the Isaac Newton and harness our inner Isaac Newton from 1665 here. The other thing that I want you to do, and this I've given you until Monday the 30th to do this, is I want you to read this attached article on the age of anxiety. And there's your link. Uh, the attached article, as you can see up at the top, like the 1920s, the 2020s will be an age of anxiety. Below the surface, the first modern decade was an era of increasing worry about the future. So this is an article that just kind of goes through, and it's a really good summary for us as well of the 1920s and post-World War One, and what this age of anxiety looked like. What I want you to do is when you get done with it, I've got kind of a little bit of a prompt for you here, but when you're done reading it and reading the article, I want you to write a short paragraph comparing and contrasting the anxiety in the 1920s to what we are experiencing in the world in the 2020s. Draw connections directly from the article to events and trends in trends of 2020. And I want you to upload your response to Schoology. Um, so just a little article, kind of a little bit of reflection for what we are going through right now and uh, trying to think positively um, a little bit as we get through this. The last thing that I have for you is just a PowerPoint uh, that I got for you that just kind of walks you through this age of anxiety and helps you to helps to support you through the 26.1 through 26.3 reading. It isn't 
point for point, but it's just some visuals to go along with it. So as you're doing 26.1 through 26.3, just have this up and help you, to help support you and give you a little bit of guidance and some images and some summaries of some of these things. Other than that, that's what I've got for you today. So practice review quiz, read Walking in Isaac Newton's Shoes, um, read the attached article on anxiety 1920s to 2020s, and then just be sure to get 26.1 through 26.3 done, and the PowerPoint's there to help you. Hope you are all doing well. The next time you guys will hear from me will be the 30th. So we're going to take the week off. Nothing other than to be sure to stay up to speed with your uh, reading guide, 26.1 to 26.3. So um, until we talk next time, take care of yourself. Um, if you or any, any of your family, once again, as always, needs anything, please let me know. Um, if you yourself individually need an extension, these dates are flexible, just the world that we're living in right now. If uh, you're getting sick or whatever it is, please do not hesitate to reach out and just keep me in the loop. I can't see you guys obviously every day, but I still want to be there for you to support you and we will work through things. You know that uh, I will, will help you out in any way possible. So uh, chat soon. Enjoy spring break.